today's video I'm going to be touring this cab co home it is unit 964 again the model is cab co and it's unit 964 it's kind of noisy out here so we'll move on to the inside We'll move on to the inside. So let's show you what it looks like. Now this one has the built-in front porch. Really pretty. I don't think I've ever toured a manufactured home with the built-in front porch like this. So love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's sold, but it was still open. So let's go take a peek. You've got a light out here. I could totally see putting a ceiling fan up here in lieu of the light. Very pretty. Love the rustic touches. Very nice. Love the updated front door. Let's go take a look. All right, some of the tile is not down in here, but you'll get an idea of what it looks like. So when you walk in, you have this foyer type area right here that has two large windows, just a little foyer area. Uh, once the tile down is down, I think it'll just look as, it'll be like one, it's actually one large area of the living room, but it looks separate to me because the tile isn't down. So once the tile is down and it's all put together and you can't see the split, this is one big living room. So excuse what I said, it's not like a foyer area. It'll make it all one big room. This is a huge area. This living room has the brick uh, fireplace ceiling fan in here space for your tv and you've got two large windows on either side of the fireplace which is really nice love it i'm gonna go over here and scan the room so you can see these two large windows fireplace Really nice. Now also, what I like about this room is how large the space is. Now all of this is not completely open, but it's still open. You've got beams in the dining room, into the kitchen, lots of space for a huge table. You know, you could do really well separating the space. You've got two French doors that would go out onto your back deck which is always nice i'm sorry it looks like two doors it's only one door that door doesn't open but it gives the look that it does that's super cute how nice doorless frame so nice so your dining room table would sit in front of it. You could put a large dining room table there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Y'all, it's so hot out here. It's 92 degrees today. So if I sound delirious, it's because I am. I only have one more house to tour today. All right, so stainless steel appliances in here. Love the countertops, really different. Haven't seen those in these homes before. It has the dark wood with the lighter marble look countertops. I think that's really pretty. You've got all this cabinet space, a huge hutch over your ceramic top stove. Of course, you've got can lights in here. Lots and lots of storage space. 
Your industrial sink is in the island, but you still got lots of space for the family. And you've got cabinets and a dishwasher in your island. Really pretty. Love all the lights, all the lighting from all the windows. You've got those two windows, actually four, because two on the other side of the fireplace. Those two, you've got the door, and then three huge windows over there. So this is gonna be a really nice, bright, bright space. Very nice, awesome. So let's go take a look at the rest of the house. Down this long hallway here. The first door is on, on the left. This is guest bedroom number one. There's your closet. This closet has French doors that open. So cute. So, so, so cute. This bedroom also leads into the guest bathroom. So this room has access to the bathroom. We'll look at the bathroom in a minute. Across the hall is guest bath bedroom number two. And there's your closet there. Guest bedroom number two. Across from guest bedroom number two is the guest bath in here. And again, the first bedroom has a door that opens to this bathroom. Be really nice if that was the baby's room or your office, something like that. You have quick access to the bathroom. All right, on down the hall. We have another bathroom. There's your shower tub combo when you first walk in. Then all around you have double sinks. Storage space, window that opens, and your toilet. Really nice. So this bathroom leads to guest bathroom number three. Really nice. So this is the biggest bedroom. This could maybe be for your oldest child or a nice mother-in-law suite. It has a walk-in closet, huge space, and it has a door to the second guest bathroom. So really nice. There's your walk-in closet. So this house has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Very nice. This last door is the utility room. There is your back door. You have a nice sink right there. You could put a deep freezer, like the half freezer there, because you got your box, utility box, or you can make that a seating area put a bench there people could sit and take the shoes off when they come in through the back door huge huge sink here look how deep that sink is goes all the way down there all the way to my the crease of my arm so that's a huge sink very nice you've got space for your washer dryer here right off the door shelving You've got a huge window and you've got a coat closet. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Always nice to have a coat closet at the back door. Really nice, really nice. So, so far we've seen three guest bedrooms, two guest baths. 
Let's go look at the master. All right, so off the lip front door, your master sits here, cat corner. Beautiful. This is the master bedroom. Love the darker wall there. Feature wall. Love the darker feature wall. Really nice. You can either put your headboard on that wall or put it on this wall. It's, you got the outlets on this side, but it's really up to you where you put it. You know, it's your house. You can put it the way you want, or you have room to kind of move things around. If you like me, you like to move things around from time to time. You got the barn doors that lead into the master bath. I can already tell this is going to be an awesome master bath. Look how huge that sink is, you guys. Huge, huge, huge sink. The mirror's huge. Lots of lighting above. You've got your standalone tub under this cute little window that opens. Really nice. Love this tub. Love, love, love. It eat. Oh, that looks like a phone. That's so cute. That is. You can, that's a, like a handheld shower type thing. This home would be perfect. You know what? We got a subscriber, Joan and Keith Bates. And Joan has arthritis. And I think Joan would be able to sit on the side of this tub and use that shower head. That would be perfect. She wouldn't even have to get in. She could use this tub as a shower. So if that's your story too, I think that this would be an option. However, this wonderful, wonderful shower is huge. It has space to get in. It has the uh, rain shower, shower head, and it also has the handheld shower. The only thing is missing is a bench. So Joan, this house, this shower would also be perfect for you and you could put a nice bench in there so you don't have to worry about that with your arthritis. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I love it. All right. So you've got lots of storage space in here. This is your toilet room right there. Scan the room. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then this is your huge, huge walk-in closet. Love the fact that it doesn't have the wire shelving. You've got counter space and you've got your rod. Isn't that, that, isn't that nice? The shelving unit goes all the way around. You've got a transom window in here. And then you've got this unit for your purses, shoes, belts, whatever you like. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Beautiful walk-in closet. Beautiful. Really nice. And that's the door right there. So this door closes. Awesome. Love the fact that they put the fluorescent lighting in these closets. So you know exactly what color you're wearing. If you like, in my house, y'all, I got to put some, I do have daylight light bulbs. I just haven't changed them in the closets. But sometimes I walk out of the closet with something that I thought matched. And when I get outside or in better light, lighting, it doesn't. So I love the fluorescent lighting in there. Now, this is a Cabco home. Model 3244, unit 964. It's a 32 by 80. It's priced at 141.9. This base price includes delivery, setup materials, setup, blocking, and tie downs, central heat and air, concrete block underpinning, and the concrete footers. And then if you're in the Bowden, Georgia area and you're interested in possibly going into Alabama, there are some additional costs that you have to consider. Very nice. 
beautiful 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 all the information to this home is going to be down in the description box along with the link to their facebook page thanks so much for watching the mobile home diva have a good day you guys i don't have to party to have fun you see i got different hobbies and that's all i need some say life is boring but i disagree i wake up and live my dream someday soon i'm gonna make it yeah all hard work's gonna be worth it Someday soon, I'm gonna make it